gentlemen. This is Zane Zook, my partner Drew Tierney. We are Maximum Media Sport. Maximum Media Sports. Here tonight we have the Howland Tigers girls basketball team versus the Louisville Lemons. The Tigers have been off to a great start this year. They are five and two, but they just dropped a heartbreaker to Kensington. Uh, the Louisville Leopards, they are four and five, but do not let that record fool you. They have had a brutal schedule. They have some tough losses to Maslin Tusla, Lake, Cincinnati St. Ursula, Canfield, and North Can Hoover. The Tigers also have to go up against Canfield here real soon, so that'll be a tough battle Absolutely. for them. And the wins that the Leopards have over their opponents are also very very good. We, they have wins over Cincinnati, the Cincinnati Trail Blazers, Akron Bucknell, Perry, and Maslin. So th this record or this schedule overall for the Leopards has been extremely difficult through this point in the season. And it looks like it doesn't even get any easier because coming up they have Jackson, Dublin, Scioto, and Marlington. Yeah, that's a brutal schedule. And not only that, they've had to play six games over the past nine days. That is insane. You got to think that there's a chance this team just may be a little bit worn out at this point. Oh, that, yeah. That's a lot of basketball. And for the Tigers, their upcoming schedule, they've got games against Boardman, uh, West Branch, who they lost to in the district finals last year. Uh, Canfield, I mean, their schedule doesn't get any easier no. either. You, you got to think the Tigers had a bit of an easier schedule to start the season, but they're really going to get, it's going to get tough here. Yeah, they had their couple easy games against Lakeview. So, Chaney. Chaney. Those, yeah, were, those, were, those were some basically gimme. So now this is where the schedule starts. Absolutely. This is show off or shut off's time. Absolutely. Nothing else. All right, we're going to go back to a quick commercial break. So, we are Maximum Media Sports. We'll be back with you soon. We want our schools to be the place where our kids receive a great public education. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster their future through innovative practices with an open and sustained vision. Howland's strong sense of pride in the community and our commitment to academia and the arts is unparalleled. Our classrooms are built on pride and tradition. Nothing beats public education and there's no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. These hallways are built on pride and tradition. As a public school district, we will always promote, protect, and fight for what's best because that's what Roaring Tigers do for our kids and community. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster the future for our kids and families through innovative practices. We have an open and sustained vision that focuses on innovation as the benchmark for our students. Nothing beats public education, and there is no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. Conferences here. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is, this will be a big win uh, for playoff seeding. It'll really show the teams in this area how good they are. Like these are some of the best teams around. Absolutely. You got two different styles here tonight too. Uh, Louisville is going to shoot the three. Absolutely. I mean, the amount of threes they take in comparison to Howen is insane. Yeah. And then for the Tigers, it's been the same thing all year. Get in the paint and uh, get their buckets. Uh, let's go to the starting fives now for each team. Here tonight for the Tigers, we have Rhea Dalmuti, the junior. Uh, first, uh, Michaela Dahman, Alex Ackman, Kayla Clark, and Ashley Chambers. And now for your Louisville Leopards, we have Maggie Galantine, Sherilyn Mott, Paige Colt, Kayla Gibson, and Aaron Hamm. Tiger victory night. Shot selection. You gotta get good shots up. Get in the paint. Get some tough shots. Don't let those tough threes slow you down. Uh, guard play. Guards have to get involved. It's been all Alex Ackman. Alex Ackman and Kayla Clark up to this point this season. And then on the defensive side, they gotta defend the three. Louisville is gonna run and gun. They're going to get shots up. It's how well can you stop them from getting shots up. And finally get back. They're gonna run. 
Allen's done a great job of that this year, getting back and slowing teams in transition. This is a very quick Louisville team. Yeah. So they're going to have to really have a good transition game here tonight. All right, and our keys for the Leopards. They got to run your break. Howland is big. If they uh, let Howland set up their defense, it could run into some problems. Uh, they got to play physical. I mean, Howland has been very physical, especially Alex Ackman. When she gets the, gets the rebound, it's, it's hers. And the Leopards have to match that tonight. And for the defensive side, rebound, rebound, rebound. Box out. No second chance points for the Tigers. That has been huge for them this year. And finally, pressure the guards. That's been a big thing. The uh, Howland guards have really struggled taking up the floor. Every team that has pressured the Howland guards effectively this year, they've kept the games close. Chambers and Del Midi don't do well when teams get up in them, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, handle tonight. I'd also like to see how the Leopards handle the size difference here in comparison to the Tigers, because the Tigers are a tall team, and these Leopards, they just don't have the same size. This isn't a small Leopards team, though. If you look out right now, you can see they, they've got some decent height. It'll be interesting to see how they match up. They're, they're not, like, the biggest team, but hey, I, I think they can uh, hang with them. It'll be interesting. They don't have a lot of the physicality of Hound, though. That's the big thing. Yeah. For the Tigers, they've had a, uh, other than their game at Kent State, they've had a pretty easy schedule there recently. Uh, they had one of the most impressive wins I've ever seen at the high school level against Cheney, 82 to nine. And then that the Saturday before, they had an even, they had a what, 60 to 19 win over Lakeview? I believe so. It was, they've, they've had some pretty dominant wins. All right, and we have about five minutes before the start of the game here. We're gonna go to a quick commercial break. It's time we have that conversation. You may not understand me, but one day, you will. Hey buddy, we need to talk about choices. Okay, Dad. You may find yourself in a situation where you have to make a decision. The question is, is which choice will you make? How could you do this to yourself? You ruined your life. If only you remembered that one conversation, things would be different. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. And this is Zane Zook and Drew Tian, and we are back to you at Howland High School. Uh, here tonight, we have the Hound Tigers versus the Louisville Leopards. Oh, we got just under four minutes before we uh, get into tip-off here. And uh, both teams are warming up. And just like always, uh, Howland has that traditional style warm-up and uh, Every other team they've seen to face, they've had like the more new style, the modern uh, type warm up where they have a lot of dribbling action, passing. Hound's just getting nice fundamental shots up. It's much different than what usual. Getting honest with you, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'll, I'll take your word for it. All right, shit. A uh, big thing for the Tigers tonight, not their usual starting lineup. Jenna Crago has been out sick. She missed most of, most of the week last week. This past week, uh, she had what, the flu? No, I I believe it was actually bronchitis. Oh, wow, that's way worse, actually. Uh, but Michaela Dahman will be getting her second start of the year tonight. And it'll be interesting to see what she does for uh, their guard play. Michaela Dahman usually only coming off the bench for a quick three. Tonight, we're going to see her get a lot more time than usual. It'll be interesting. Craig didn't play against the Kensington. It'll be interesting to see if she gets any time tonight since she's been so sick and really trying to get her energy back. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to her today and she said that while she is feeling better, she's still not at, you know, maximum strength. The, the tough thing is getting something like bronchitis is it really just affects you. You're not the same. You can't run like you always do. It's tough. Oh, I agree. I agree completely. It appears we will be getting into the national, national anthem here shortly. Louisville is doing some sort of pregame ritual. It is one of the most odd rituals I have ever seen. The entire team circled up, put about eight balls in the center of their circle, and just kicked them back and forth. 
I've never seen that in I, I, my I years of watching basketball. I don't know. I don't think you're right there. I'm pretty sure they had one ball. No, they had more. They had like eight balls in the center. They kept kicking them around. I've Drew, never, I don't know about that one. I've never seen that before in my entire life. That's something else. We're about a minute and a half here before the start of the game. Introductions and national anthem are thoughts going away. We're about to get into the national anthem. Please stand as All right, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Howland uh, Pep Band. As always, they have done a great job this year with pre-game festivities and the national anthem. Absolutely. Even when they play over us, we yeah. still love them. We still got to love them. <laughs> Appears we are ready for tip-off any second now. Drew, I'm excited. Oh, yeah, this is, this is, this is the biggest game. girls game of the year, no doubt. I mean, the, uh, what was the real close game that the Hound Tigers Champion. Champion. That Champion. was a good was game. Champion was a great game, too. We did, not, we did not commentate over that game, I don't believe. No, I wish we would have. Oh, I wish we would have, because that was a good game. Number 22, Caleb Gibson. That, that was a good game. So, uh, I'm excited to see how this one pans out. Louisville is about an hour away, too, so they didn't bring a big crowd tonight. So. That's fine. Hopefully they're all watching us. Yeah, hopefully. Oh, Tigers actually not a uh, big crowd tonight either. They usually uh, tend to fill the stands, but it's a smaller crowd tonight. Yeah. It's, I mean, you got to think more towards playoff time, people start showing up. Definitely. And there's Alex Hoffman. Of course. Big thing for the Tigers tonight. What can she do? Will she lead the offense? And if she does, how will we get the win tonight? You got to think that. But, uh, you know, let's wait to see what this uh, this Leopards team really produces. Mm -hmm. That band is awfully loud. As always. All right, Coach Deal, giving him a quick pep talk before the game starts here. And the Leopards go out onto the court, and now the Tigers are going as well. Maybe not. Yes, they are. Right. Uh, doing the jump for the Tigers should be Kayla Clark, and it looks like number 24, Aaron Han, or Han, sorry, will be doing the jump for the Leopards. We're not sure. We'll, we'll go with Han for Stop tonight. So we're going to go for tonight, Aaron Han. Aaron Han. We apologize. Yeah, we do apologize for any if that is not how we pronounce your name, especially if your, her parents are watching. We apologize now. Um, and uh, it is tipped out, and it will be re jump. Re -jump. All right. Don't see that very often. No, you don't. You gotta think one of them gotta come down with it, but who knows. We're not underway yet, but we will be now, as Kayla Clark Of wins course the wins. Jump. She usually does win. Yeah, it's kind of impressive. Almost a perfect record. I don't think they have a perfect record. The only way they'd have a perfect record is if I was jumping for them. I don't think you would win one all year, actually. I've seen you jump, Zane. All right. So there's a... Uh, Pushing someone out of the way, though, I think, or a box out competition, that'd be all you. I'll take that. I will take that. All right. Leopard's now with the ball, swinging it around on offense, trying to get some low post work. 
on driving to the hoop. And she does not land. But, and and it will be a, oh boy, by that's, that's a. Darman tipped out though by Han. All right. Honestly, I, I thought that that was a leopard ball, but what do I know? Must have uh, tipped out of Haunt and must have hit uh, Horn last. Yeah. So I'm even now, taking up four. Oh boy. Again, another that's, turnover that's for the turnover. Tigers. Yeah, I would say that that's been one of their biggest issues all year is the amount of turnovers that they have. Their offense has been pretty efficient for the most part. They get good shots, but. They do, but. They turn it got, over. Yeah. And you got to think, if they just cut those in half, They'd have a lot more success on offense. Han seems to be oh, uh, the main catalyst for the Leopards here tonight. She's gone in the post with two pretty good looks, but neither of them to... have been able to fall. That's fine. Uh, Del Muti will be taking it down the court for the Tigers. Looks like the Leopards are in a 1-3-1 one, one right here. Tigers got to get it in the oh, boy. paint here. Uh, Oh, change up, and that's gracious. a third turnover for the Tigers. Not oh. a great start at all. I mean, that was two, but not three. Was it three? My apologies, Drew. Down time at the top of the key. Setting up the offense. It's a quiet one tonight. Oh, my goodness. Down low for the easy layup. That is number 21, Paige Cole. Would Kayla Domin have two turnovers? I think it might even be three Tigers with uh, three turnovers. Okay. Dahman now driving to the paint, and her pass oh is tipped boy. and stolen away, and that is four possessions and four turnovers for the Tigers. That, I mean, that can't happen. That was one thing they said they had to limit tonight, and uh, not exactly happening. We're almost two minutes in, and they have four turnovers. That's not, that's not ideal. Three for the Leopards, off the mark, but rebounded by number 10. That'll be a Sherilyn travel, Moore. and the Tigers will regain possession of the ball. Can't Let's hope that the they like don't that. turn over the ball this time. Domin checking out, and uh, Alyssa Pompelia comes in. OK. Del Muti setting up the offense. Looking to get something in the paint here. No, Pompelia with the mid-ranger off the mark. Tipped by Clark. No, Hahn actually tips it out. Oh. And uh, Tigers Ooh. keep possession. OK. Would have bet money that Clark hit that out. Of nice course. cut from Alex Ackman, and she it lays it in. Gotta give it to Alex. It's automatic. That's nice pump fake and drive, but wow. that pass is stolen away by Pompelio. It was not a pass, Drew. I believe that was actually a shot. And it was blocked. It wasn't a whole lot of. Wasn't anything good. <laughs> no, that's fine. Chambers now with the ball. Kicks it over to Muti. Very light 1-3-1 one, one for the Leopards. Not a lot of trapping going on. And another turnover another for the turnover. Tigers. That's five from in three minutes. That's unacceptable. Deal has to be losing his mind on the sideline right now. I mean, I'm looking at Deal. He's showing little to no emotion. But I would like to be inside of his head right now. Oh, yeah. Galentine. I mean, we've been at their front. We've been at the practices for a scout team oh. when we face the girls. And uh, he can get quite upset. Absolutely. Oh, nice drive though by number two, 22, Kayla Gibson. 4-2 Leopards here. Oh, pushing the Once tempo now. Once again, they're pressuring those guards. Mm -hmm. It's no shock at all. Don't want to keep the ball in the corner here on the 1-3-1. It leads a lot of problems. And, oh, Tigers avoid almost another turnover. Very lucky there, very lucky. That would have been six turnovers in three and a half minutes. Tigers inbound it, and it's tipped and almost stolen. And they get down to Aukman in the post, and she She's, misses the baby hook. She is unable to put it in. The Leopards now bringing up the floor. That's Galantine with the ball. Hahn has it now. She swings it around. The three is up. Shot is up. Does not fall. Rebound for Mido Muni. The Leopards' offense has looked pretty good. They have gotten some good shots. Be interesting to see if they can get them to fall here. I think Chambers might take that one. Never mind. Ackman driving to the paint. Swings it over to Pompelia. She can't hang on, but she's... Oh, boy. OK, it's that is still Tiger's goal. Tipped away by the Leopards. Two new Leopards checking the game. That is number five, Sydney Bast, and... Number 25, Hannah... Oh, boy. Lotzenheiser. OK. That I'm sorry one. if that's not how it that's, is. That's a tough one. 
Nice skip from Alex Lockman. And the three is up from Pompilia, and it an doesn't air ball. anything. It would be an air ball. And the Tigers lose possession. Wow, very low scoring game at this point. We're uh, a little over four minutes in, and the score is four to two in favor of the Leopards. That's been a typical trend for Tigers games this year, quite low scoring. Well, I, will, I wouldn't say that true. Every game we've commentated, it's been. Well, okay, I will agree with that one. Leopards with the miss there, and uh, Dalmidi pressures it up to four. Hawkman now, it's Hawkman three. With three. And wow. she connects. That falls. Tigers now take the lead, five to four. It's not often you see Alex put up a three. Yeah, she has a very nice shot, though. Maybe she'll uh, start shooting some more. Yeah. Might have been a one time thing, who knows? On now for three. She got a hand on that. Uh, maybe not. Can't connect. Know, actually. Rebounded by Lopez, wow. but blocked by Pompilia. Beautiful block. Dalmidi now takes it up the floor. Swings it over to Ashley Chambers. Chambers. Oh, no Pompilia one opening the paint. Okay. No. Posting up. Kicks it over to Aukman. Oh, she's open boy, for three she did again. It again. And Never she's mind. off the mark. That's fine. Rebound by Han. I mean, she can't make all of them. No, of course not. I could. Mm, that's. Not true. Kayla Gibson taking up the floor for the Leopards. You could transition there. <laughs> Number five, driving to the hole. Great defense from Clark. Clark, she stops wow. it. Very physical there. Okay. Great eyes from the ref there as he was able to see Delmedi's foot step <sighs> right across the baseline. Leopards get possession. Two new subs, that's number 10 and number three. Uh, Sherilyn Mullet and Maggie Galantine back in the game for the Leopards. Stolen away by Aukman. Oh boy. And the Tigers get possession. Uncommon turnover for the Leopards, as they've played a very clean game up until this point. Well, only five and a half minutes in, Drew. And up until this point, it was pretty clean, Zane. Okay, all right. Aukman kicks it to Pel Pompelli in the corner. It's a blocking foul there. Uh, that is the first foul of the night. No, that can't be true. First foul of the night, Zen. All right, you're right. <laughs> Took a long time, very uncommon there. Yeah. Usually at this point, I feel like we'd see at least one foul on Kayla Clark. Yeah. She has no issue being physical in the paint. Oh, no doubt. Pompelia now with the ball up front. Uh, we're seeing Ashley Chambers actually exit the game right now. In, in her place is Michaela Dahman, who Dahman. also started the game and just got a trap. Okay. Moving up and down there. Yeah. That can't happen. Must have barely came off the ground. It's uh, pretty far. Galantine taking up the floor, driving into the paint. Swings it over to Bast. And she gets it down low. Oh, blocked oh, away by Kayla Clark. I mean, that's impressive. As always, she is able to always get in there and contest shots. I mean, in our last scout team match, she actually blocked my shot five times, Drew. I don't think you were there for that one. And I'm five not lying. Five times? I'm not lying. She blocked my shot five times. Say, I don't know why you would say that, like, on a live broadcast. I'm just, I'm giving her props. She, she has a way of blocking. I'm not sure if that's uh, more of an impressive feat to her or a uh, bad stat to you. Oh, I'd say a mixture of both. That's a foul on Alex Ackerman. Getting a little too aggressive there, trying to reach in for the steal. <laughs> New subs into the game, that is Ashley Chambers and Jenna Salva. Jenna Salva checking in for the first time. Kayla Clark exiting. Of course, Alex Ackerman's still in the game. Yeah. You don't see her leave the game very often. It's maybe a once, once a game thing, unless it's a blowout. Nice inbounds pass there. Way to go up and crawl that pass. Oh, nice backdoor cut, but the pass is... That would be Tiger's ball. Well over the head of number 25, Hannah Lotzenheiser. Lotzenheiser, that's something. Chambers now, kicks over to Drama. Pompeo in the corner. They gotta, they gotta get the ball in the paint here in this zone defense. I mean, that's been their bread and butter all year. I... They've just been swinging around up top. Oh, boy. That'll Locker. be another turnover. Oh, oh she's okay. able to get it out. Oh, and that's, is that seven? It's or a eight? lot. It's, okay, yeah. 
Nice drive there by Galantine, but her floater is off the mark. Good board for DeSavo as she's able to get the foul from number five, Sydney Bast. Sydney Bast. Kayla Clark checked out for no more than a minute, and she's going to give Alex Ackman her first breather of the game. I doubt we see Alex Ackman out for long. Oh, no. It, as she does have all five of the Tigers' points up to this point. There's only 50 seconds left in this quarter, but she might still check back in before this quarter is done. No, I doubt that. I doubt that, Drew. Chambers now with it out front. Swings it over to Dahman. She's open and takes the three. And that will be an air ball. It does That's not connect. Uh, Michaela Dahman struggling up to this point. Uh, we imagine she'll bounce back. Most definitely. Galantine taking up the floor again for the Leopards. She swings it over to Mullet. Nice pressure out front from Dahlman. And she creates the five second foul. There we five go. Five second violation, my, my mistake there. I don't think anybody would have you know, said anything if you had messed up the difference between foul and violation, Drew. You would have been fine. Oh, I would have known though, so. Chambers now with 20 seconds. Gets it over to Salvo. Swinging it over to Pompelli in the corner. Down low to Clark, she posts up. Wow. Going to work. Oh boy. She that travels, was, uh, too many steps. That was a travel? Yeah, couple of pivot foots there. Eh, I wouldn't say that, but you know. Again, what do I know? I'm not a ref. Galantine has to push it up quickly for the Leopards. Five seconds. Great defense from Dahman. Stolen away by Pompelia, and that's the end of the first quarter. Your Howland Tigers lead five to four. And we will be getting back to it. We will be going to a quick commercial break here. These hallways are built on pride and tradition. As a public school district, we will always promote, protect, and fight for what's best because that's what Roaring Tigers do for our kids and community. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster the future for our kids and families through innovative practices. We have an open and sustained vision that focuses on innovation as the benchmark for our students. Nothing beats public education and there is no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. And we are back here uh, with the score. Hound Tigers leading the Louisville Leopards 5-4. to four. And we found that it is not a shootout, a how shootout as we expected at Howland High. It has been very low scoring all defense here. The Leopards yeah. have generated a lot of turnovers uh, for the well, against the Tigers. I mean, you got to be thinking they're around eight, nine at this yeah. point. That's that's unacceptable. About full, full you games think worth. Coach Deal is not happy. Definitely something he had to yell at them for here in this that's break. A, that's another travel. Is that? Does that go towards the turnover column, Drew? That does. That does. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're we're upwards of ten at this point. Well, with the ball, as she kicks it over to Han. Three is up, and Another it does air not ball. touch anything. Okay, other than Alex Ackman's three, have any of these uh, three-point shots even hit the rim? No, I think we've had three other threes and uh, three other air balls. Mm, yeah, they haven't touched anything. That's that's something, especially coming from a team who prides themselves on shooting the three. Yeah, nice drive from Chambers. Gets it over Don. Shot is up from Don and doesn't land. Nice rebound there by Paige Cole. Oh, and tens open in the paint. Wow, that pass does not connect, and that'll be a, uh, be a Tigers ball. Bit of an air pass there, not much of a window to fit that in. Not very smart basketball, really. No. Chambers with it now, kicks it over to Alex Ackman. <clears throat> see if Alex Ackman can ignite the Tiger offense. Uh, and, well. The answer was no, she turned it over. The answer was no. That, that was straight into a leopard paw? I believe leopards have paws, right? It's a cat, so yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice steal from Dalmuti. She's got oh, herself she's got to take lane. that one. Oh, boy. 
And um, Chambers with a little mid-range shot. That, that doesn't Off matter. mark, rebounded again by Han. She is, she's done a whole lot for this Leopards team on the rebounding side. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Oh now boy. she shoots three, and, and she connects. Finally, we get some offense. It was, it's getting a bit tedious up here. When nobody scores, you run out of stuff to say. 7-5, Leopards. Nice post for Clark, and she moves it over to Dahman. Dahman to the paint, ah. and can't connect. And again, rebounded by Hall. Gibson pushing up the floor. I Swings just, it down low, and nice cut from Cheryl Moore. I just looked at Deal's face after that uh, Michaela Dahman shot, and uh, he did not appear happy. Delmuti now with the ball. Getting it to Kayla Clark in the post. Trying to generate some offense. Nice little move. And wow. a little floater to there. That was a beautiful shot by Kayla Clark. First points of the day from someone not named Alex Ackman on the Tigers. Yeah. Oh boy, it appears uh, we're going to have Alyssa Pompelia and um, the freshman? Maddie McLean? Or no. Uh, Kylie, Kylie McLean. McLean coming in for the Tigers. Yeah. Wow. Two and the freshmen out there. Yeah, there's a few of them. Stenny <clears throat> Salvo will also be coming in. A lot of new faces out there for the Tigers. And somehow it is Alan Ball. We'll take it. Well, I imagine they'll take it. Okay. I, of course, have no preferences to who wins. Yes, yes, and sure. <laughs> Del Muti now getting pressure up front. Nice little pass from McLean. I think she'll take that shot. Never mind. Oh, nice pump fake from McLean. Swinging it over to Pompeo. Pompeo in the put corner. the shot up. It and will land. And she connects for three. Allen Tigers will take the lead with a score of 10 to 9 over the Louisville Flappers. Nice shot there from Pompeo. She has money from that corner three. Is she? Yeah, she's been. One of the best three-point shooting weapons for the Tigers this year. Okay. Nice drive from Gibson, and she can't connect. Nice rebound from Pompilli, and she quickly pushes it up the floor, into the paint. She's throwing up the lip, and ah. off the mark. Rebounded by McLean, though. Okay. Get Pompilli that ball, get the ball to Domini. Oh, no. Oh, uh, he's stolen away. And Ooh, battering on the floor. That one had to hurt. Oh. Nice Good hustle effort from Delmuti. Delmuti all over the place there. Jump ball. And it looks like possession will stay with the Leopards. That, 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 that sound when your skin rubs against this uh, court floor, it sounds like it hurts. Oh, it's painful. Nice pass, Gibson with a little mid-range shot. Ah. And a nice going. little kiss off the glass. Zalmidi taking up the floor. Tigers, Tigers trail by one. Pass tipped out by Han. Tigers will keep possession. Delmuti to inbound here. Getting it to Pompeo in the corner. McLean now. Getting it to just uh, Alex Ackman. driving towards the paint. Ah. Looks like that was tipped back. Down time, pushing up the floor. Nice drive to the paint. And but great defense from Jenna DeSalvo. Doesn't even tip it. Really did a great job contesting the shot there. But also a bit of a force by Watson Heiser. Once again, we're sorry if that's not how we pronounce her name. And I'm pretty sure that is not how we pronounce it. Probably not. It's unmuting now with it. Over to McLean, getting it to Pompelia. She hesitates, she hesitated but does not for shoot. that shot. Delmuti to Aukman in the corner. Alex going to put that one up. And Will not land. Watch. Over the back by Pompelia. Fair bit too aggressive there. Only the second foul for the Tigers, though. They've done a great job, especially their guards. They usually run into a lot of foul trouble. So good to see them keeping composure. I'd say that. Still a very low scoring game here tonight. I picked it up here, 10. though, this quarter. 
Well, oh, good backdoor cut, but uh, not a great pass from Galantine as the Leopards turn it over. Uh, I praised them in the first quarter for playing a very clean game, and I take that back. They have turned it over quite frequently here in the second quarter. Have they? That's at least their third or fourth. Okay. McLean thinks about the three. Doesn't shoot it, though. Chambers now with possession, getting harassed by Galantine. The media up front with no pressure on her. These Tigers are still struggling to get into the paint here. Yeah, definitely not really getting any looks there. Oh boy. Little floater from Lockman does not touch anything and it is grabbed by on. Hot now, nice pump fake. Pulls up right at the elbow, but can't connect. Rebounded by Kayla Clark. Kayla's doing what she does best, grabbing rebounds for the Tigers. Open three for Del Muti, off the mark. Will Rebound by McLean, and tipped it in. That's what you love to see. The freshman making an impact. Pretty athletic play there, tipped that one in. I can do that. Mm. Not so sure about that one, Zane. Three's up for the Leopards, and off the mark. Rebounded by Kayla Clark. Ashley Chambers pushing it up the floor. No one on her. Kayla now. Oh, turning it over. Couldn't corral that pass. Gibson good. now with it. But I'd, I'd say the Tigers have had some pretty good transition defense here tonight. They have really slowed down any uh, breaks for the Leopards. Three's up for Han, and she land. hits. It will land. Back and forth game here, 14-12, Leopards. I mean, we told you right off the bat, this is gonna be a close game. I game honestly expected teams. a little more scoring. However, it is still close. Mm -hmm. Nice oh, drive wow. for Chambers, but it's stolen away. Galantine pushing up the floor. No one in front of her. Good outlet. And that is number 21, Paige Cole with the layup. And those are those fast breaks we talked about before the game started. The Tigers cannot allow those to happen. Clay now in the corner. Deep two. And she oh, yeah. hits. Wow. Good answer for the Tigers. Just under a minute here left in this uh, first half. Gibson now with it out front. On, all by herself. You gotta think McLean must have had a pretty successful week of practice to be getting this many minutes as a freshman. Well, she's used her minutes very wisely. Already totaling four points here tonight. On, doing a little isolation ball. And while, my, while four points may not sound like a lot, in this close of a game and in this low scoring of a game, uh, I'd say it's pretty good. Yeah, Chambers. <laughs> Chambers not very happy with uh, the hand check there. A uh, couple substitutions here for the Leopards. That's number 10. Uh, Mullet checking in the game. Nice post up for Gibson. She can't get the layup to go. Nice rebound for Kayla Clark. Chambers quickly pushing it up the floor. No one stops her, and she is fouled. It's Foul. the first trip to the line tonight for the Tigers. Just looked into the Leopard stands as that happened, and a lot of them uh, kind of wanted to travel. And I honestly don't know if I could disagree with them. Bit of a grab on the arm there, though. You gotta, gotta make the Well, call. I'm saying before the foul occurred. Chambers now, first shot. Off mark. Second free throw coming here. And she hits. One point game here now with 23 seconds to go. Ashley Chambers, first point of the night. 20 seconds left here in the second quarter of play. Leopards. Oh, no double dribble there. Oh. And, and that will be Leopard ball. Nothing going right there for the Tigers on that possession. Looked like a double dribble, and it looked like the Leopards knocked it out. Gibson now with it out front. Eight seconds to go. Gets it over to Han. Looking for the last shot. Four seconds to go. They're gonna have to fire. And they're just not gonna they're just not gonna shoot. Okay. And a Lawson Heiser just gave up, I guess. All right, well, that's the end of the first half, and 
Your Holland Tigers trail 15 to 16 to the Louisville Leopards. And upcoming games for the Tigers, uh, the Holland Lady Tigers, uh, Saturday, December 22nd, they will be playing at Geneva. Uh, Friday, December 28th, they will be playing at West Branch. Saturday, December 29th, they will be playing at, they will be playing at West Branch again. Not sure what time. And then uh, Wednesday, January 9th, they'll be playing at Austin Town Fitch. That is a brutal schedule yeah. all on the road, too. Pretty far away. Yeah. Not a lot. Of, I'm sorry. A lot of traveling there for the Tigers. All right. We will be back to you after this half, and we will be going to commercials here. So. Here at Howland Local Schools, public education means every kid, every day. We take pride in knowing that our students are receiving every opportunity they need to succeed in whatever path they take. Our certified staff provides engaging instruction in all academic areas. We communicate with our students and our families to make sure we are all working as one. Our schools collaborate with community partners to help promote professionalism. We are committed to make the necessary changes to make education beneficial for each and every student. Our athletics and activities give students the opportunity to reach a common goal. Our teachers use creative methods to indulge us in learning and teach us how to express ourselves as individuals. We provide our students with methods to think outside the box to meet their objectives. With public education, we are all one. Our success is measured by every student, every day. Here's to the crazy ones, the rebels, the troublemakers, the ones who see things differently. While some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. These hallways are built on pride and tradition. As a public school district, we will always promote, protect, and fight for what's best because that's what Roaring Tigers do for our kids and community. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster the future for our kids and families through innovative practices. We have an open and sustained vision that focuses on innovation as the benchmark for our students. Nothing beats public education and there is no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. Overdose deaths are skyrocketing across the country and right here in the valley. Addiction doesn't discriminate, it can happen to anyone. Drugs don't single out certain groups, show bias towards anyone, or judge who you are. Drugs aren't impartial and certainly don't individualize. It doesn't matter who you are, what race you are, or how financially sound you are. If you're homeless, if you have a family who loves you dearly. Addiction destroys the person who's using and destroys the families involved. Addiction robs you your money, it robs you your spirit, and finally, when you have nothing left to lose, it robs you your soul. Why let it play with lives? Just stop. It does not discriminate. It kills, it cheats, it steals, it takes over, it ruins lives, it shames, it lies, and it disappoints. Discriminate? Not when it comes to addiction. It is an honor to attend Howland Schools, and that couldn't have been more evident than in our All One Showcase. Our faculty and staff, retired teachers, community partners, families and friends came together to celebrate our schools. In turn, they all created a night to remember. 
We want to thank everyone who attended and supported our event, which highlighted everything that makes Howland Local Schools a premier school district in Trumbull County. From education to the arts, memories of how proud our past is, and a look at our roaring future. The showcase had it all, and the turnout at our inaugural event demonstrates our commitment to unity. Again, thank you, and as always, our proud past and roaring future is only possible with your support in all you do for kids and community. We want our schools to be the place where our kids receive a And welcome back here to ha the Hound High School. Here tonight, this is Zane Zook, my partner Drew Tyrion. Louisville Leopards are leading the Hound Tigers with a score of 16 to 15. We're about four minutes before the third quarter of play begins. Very low scoring game here up to this point. Uh, like I said, the scores, they, I mean, both teams combined only have a total of 31 points. And we're already getting into the second half of play. Uh, leading scorers for each team is Alex Ackman. She has five points, and Aaron Hahn has six. They have definitely been the most aggressive players on each team, so probably we'll see something similar in the second half. I mean, and we also need to look at, uh, what's your, I believe her name is uh, Kylie McLean, the freshman for the Tigers, having a really good night so far. I mean, she's gotten a lot of minutes, especially for a freshman. She already has four points. I, I mean, I imagine that she's going to see a lot of points going forward here tonight. Yes, definitely. McLean has, uh, yeah, it's the first time she's really got, like, big minutes, especially since uh, Jenna Craig has been out, hasn't gotten in yet, so. <laughs> Once again, Jenna was sick all week, so that's the main reason that we haven't seen her make her way onto the court here tonight. It'd be interesting uh, if she does get any minutes at all in this game, so. Just about two minutes till uh, halftime's done. Two and a half, two and a half. Always trying to correct me, Zane. Got to find something, every, everything I say, I swear. Well, somebody's got to keep you on your toes. Thanks, Zane. Glad, glad to have you in the booth. Hey, we're actually not in the booth, Drew. I knew you were going to say that. I, just, I, kinda put, I, could, I put that one on a tee for you. I literally yeah. set that one up. Yeah, on. you did. I mean, you know who you're working with. You know I like sarcasm. You? Sarcasm? No. From one know-it-all to another, I, 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 know, I know what you're going through. Brutal, man. Brutal. The Tigers have been warming up here in the second half. Just a small little thing. They have not really gotten a lot. Of, I say that they make six shots in a row. They missed about ten in a row. They, just, I, I, they had know, to get me there. Drew, I don't. They were making shots. I just don't think you're watching close enough. You have no idea. You're just trying to say that just to say something. That's all. I know. That was the point. I hate you, Zane. But uh, you don't. And make sure you follow us on Twitter, at HHS underscore multimedia, the, I, uh, the L in multimedia being a one. That's where you can get uh, stay up to date with all of our, when, so you can find out when every game that we're broadcasting, every, it'll be posted on our Twitter. That was great English there, Zane. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, you know, it, was thrown out. it was thrown on to me at the last second. I didn't get a lot of time to prepare for that one. All right, just about a minute left until halftime's over, so. Got a minute left, about a minute. Now under one minute. Be really interesting. Will the Tigers go out and be aggressive here? Will they go get more shots in the paint? They, that was the most threes I'd ever really seen them get off in a half. So they, they, they shoot. They shot. They made two threes. Yeah, but they shot a lot. They usually don't shoot shoot that many. Yeah, I, yeah I would agree with that. Lockman. I would agree with that. It just seems like they can't get the ball into the paint here tonight. No. I, don't, I don't know what the issue is. That one three one zone for the Leopards has really been a problem for the Tigers. Uh, leading, we, uh, as we talked earlier, leading scorers for the Tigers are Alex Hoffman and Kylie McLean and Aaron Hahn for the Louisville Leopards. About 
Oh, and it appears that the second half of play will be starting now. Uh, looks like Leopards. Oh, no, Tigers will get possession first. Underway. So I'm eating out, driving to the paint. Oh, nice little pass to Kayla Dahman. Oh, nice little baby hook for Clark, but she can't connect. Good rebound, though, keeping the play alive. You already know Alex is putting that Alex one in. Ackman. I mean, we knew as soon as she got the ball, that one was going in. Gives the Tigers the lead, 17 to 16. On with it. Driving to the paint, steps back, and blocked away by Alex Ackman. Ashley Chambers quickly pushes up the floor. Tag is pretty aggressive here to start the half. Dalmini for three. And wow. it and banks it in. Wow. Allen Tigers leading now, 20 to 16. It is 808, but the bank is still open here at Tiger High. Drew, I, no. I, I get what Gibson, you were going turn for. Turn it over. I get what Tigers you were going for. Oh, man, that pass was tipped? We did not see that at all. Drew, I think we need to talk about this joke for another second because it wasn't it I was not it. a good one. I nailed it, Zinn. Five-second violation, and Tigers will get the ball back. All right. Good defense there. Way to prevent the, the Leopards from getting that ball in. Nice back door from Alex Ackman to get the imbalance pass. She quickly pushes up the floor. Driving. Oh, hit by. Oh, boy. Hold on. No, no call, though. Keeping it chippy here tonight. That's what I like to see. Dalmidi now getting double teamed. Gets it over to Ashley Chambers. A game with no fouls is fine by me. Well, there's a foul for you right there. Or Spoke actually too traveling. Soon. And uh, the Leopards will get possession. I don't imagine it's long before we see uh, Kylie McLean get back out onto the court here for the Tigers. I would like to think so too. Uh, Galantine now taking up the floor for the Leopards. She's setting up the offense. A couple backdoor action plays going on here. Gibson. Oh no, sorry, that is Bolt with it. She gets it over to Gibson now. Bolt driving to the paint. And the wild lift doesn't go. Dalmudi quickly pushing up the floor. Finds Mikhail Dahlman, and she gets the, oh, oh can't boy. get the layup to go. Mikhail Gibson quickly pushing up the floor. Nice little Euro step. No good, though. Rebounded by Alex Hoffman. Those, that shot from Mikhail Dahlman, that one needs to land. Yeah, it's definitely the one you have to hit there. Dalmudi with it out front. Gets over to Ashley Chambers. Quickly picking up her dribble, though. Driving to the paint. Nice little drive. Flutter is up. And, and it will falls. Double Muni having a pretty successful second half here. Fun on the rim there for a second, but it falls. That's five points in the second half for her. Maria Del Muti. Gibson now with it. Stolen Ooh. away by Alex. Uh, oh, almost get. stolen away. Almost. On now with it. She hasn't done much in the second half. Well, we're only three minutes in. I imagine she'll come alive. Bullet now, trying to drive. Gets it over to Galantine. Oh, great defense there from Delmiti. She's able to tip one out. Leopard's inbounding here. Pressured by Dahman. Oh, almost an over and back there from Galantine. On with it out front. She swings it across. Down low to Gibson. Her pass is tipped. Tiger's been all over these passing lanes in the second half, getting a bunch of tips here. Gibson with it out front, driving to the paint. Nice little layup. Hit hard. Too much but mustard on that one. Hit hard. No foul though. Tiger's uh, keep possession. Nice little uh, steal from behind from Mullet. That'll be a turnover. Oh, oh boy. Oh my goodness. Uh, Chambers, Chambers just falls. had her ankles broken. Nice cross over there. On. That'll be an air ball. ball. 
Can't seem to get anything to fall. Alex, stolen again. No! Chambers is able to keep it. Oh, with how physical his second half has been, that's, that's a tough blocking foul for Gallantown. Checking into the game for the Leopards is number five, Sydney Bast. Amiri almost didn't get it in in time. Able, oh, no, slow away by Galantine. Pushing up the floor. But again, oh, tip passes everywhere. Juan is able to come up with it. Three's up from Juan and off the mark. Nice rebound from Cole and she gets the left to go. That's something we haven't seen a lot of from the Leopards is actually their three point shot, which we expected them to have a lot. Yeah. Here tonight. Paige Cole has had a pretty quiet game, with, but uh, six points for the for Leopards. Oh boy. Nice pass over to Delmedia up top. Up from Delmedia. And she connects. Sticking with that hot hand three. over your seven point at night. Three for three here in the second half. Gallon time with it. Is that a timeout for the Leopards? Oh no, that's a uh, official's timeout as a uh, player has to tie their shoe. That's the worst thing in basketball. You always got to have your shoes tied. I mean, come on, it's just the, it's the basics. All right, Coaches hate to see you in their players that don't have their shoe tied. Check into the game from Tigers, freshman Alyssa Pompilio. Oh, Chambers falling again. Must be a little slippery out there. Uh, I'm not moving sure what Or, yeah, it's a moving screen. Moving screen. Sherlyn right. Mullet. Pretty sure you complained to me a lot this summer that I did a lot of moving screens. You do, because you don't 100% know the rules of basketball yet, Zane. Uh, I'll learn them eventually. <laughs> Caleb Clark now with the ball. Giving it over to Del Muti. Alex Ackman getting it down low to Clark. Posting up oh boy, her. that's another, another turnover. Never mind. No, Chambers is able to get it. I'm I'll tell you, pump it fakes. gives it, it to Ackman. Almost right. traveling. You got a. Chambers right. in the paint. That'll and land. lays it in. Nice That'll contested land. layup. Wow. Pretty good defense there from the Leopards, but she gets it to fall. Jumpers off the line. But rebounded and foul. I'll be Paige Cole going to the line. Or no, sorry. Sherilyn, Sherilyn Mullet. A couple subs look to be coming to the game. Jillian Powell will be checking in for the first, first time tonight. And Aaron Hahn and I didn't catch the second sub for the Leopards. Uh, my apologies. Uh, is it number 22? Second free throw is up. All right. And oh, it takes a lap around the rim and it falls. I believe this is actually the biggest lead of the night here for the Tigers, uh, 26 to 20. Well, it was just eight, literally two seconds ago, but two right, free throws. I, uh, you know, that's my bad. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see that one. Good trap there for the Leopards, but Delmedi's able to get the ball. Double dribble. Oh, easy call for the officials there. As she I picks didn't see up the it. Dribble. Well, Zane, uh, she dribbled the ball, then she picked the ball up, and she dribbled again. So that's no, I, I get, dribble. I get what happened. I'm just saying, I did not see. Leopards now in possession. Oh, very. Oh boy, what was that? A bit of a flop there from Mullet. Looks just like some basic defense from Pompelia. Hmm. Interesting. Again, this game's been very physical, so fouls like that are just they're, they're an annoyance to the game almost. I would agree. I think all fouls are an annoyance to the game. <laughs> Mullet now inbounding. Oh Too boy, many. There's steps. another one. There's another one. Going the other way. That was Sydney Bass turning it over. Oh, full court pre pressure for the Leopards. Been doing that a lot more this second half. Ackman now taking it up the floor herself. 
Oh, oh. reaching foul. Can't reach across the player's body like that. That is Holland's first foul of the night. Oh boy. Ooh, quick five count from the official there as the Tigers turn it over. No, that so had to couldn't get in. That had to have been four. Definitely seemed pretty quick here. Gibson taking it up the floor. Ooh, a bit of a carry there, no call though. Down low. And a nice little hook shot goes from Mullet. Tiger lead is down to four. Almost stolen away. Oh, great hustle there for the Leopards. But uh, Tigers will keep possession here. Jillian Powell will be exiting the game in place of Kayla Clark. Hail Mary pass to Alex Ockman, who will probably easily put this one in. Never oh, mind. it will come from behind blocked wow. by Aaron. I believe there's Aaron a foul Hall. there, correct? Yes. Okay. Grabbed her on the wrist a little. Two shots for Ockman. I imagine she'll sink uh, at least one, probably two. Oh, you're putting the announcer's jinx on her. Come on, man. That's fine. What did I tell you? At least one. At least one. Oh, wow. Uh, the free throws. Uh, they sunk one of the free throws in. Wow, that's the, never seen that before. Sure, yeah, no. Here it is. Never oh, mind. off the mark. All right. I, I wasn't wrong. Jinxed I said at least one. Congrats. I did say that. You, you predicted that a player would go 50% from the line. 27-22 here. Tigers lead by five. Down low to Gibson. She drives. Nice little move, but she can't get the life to go. Hit by Del Muti, and looks like number 10. Sherilyn Mullet will be going to the line for two free throws. First free throw for Mullet. And it falls. Tiger lead is down to four. She can cut it to one possession here if she hits this free throw. My guess is she will not. I was and wrong. <laughs> Can't be wrong all the time, Drew. I have to be wrong at some point. Well, it's got to happen at least once this year. It happens most every game. Nice outlet pass, though, and the Leopards get the wow. quick fast break. Okay. And the lead is down to, to one. Quick turn of events here for the Leopards. It really sped up the game there. Amidi driving, and she makes the tough layup. Still with the hot hand. Amidi's on fire this third quarter. Gibson quickly pushing up the floor. Nine she points this Han. quarter alone from Delmiti. Three pointer is up, and it's good. Wow. This game's all tied up now. Sydney Best makes it 29 apiece. Pompila tipped away. She pressured up the floor. Did not see Aaron Hahn from, from behind. Jenna DeSalva checking in for the first time in uh, the second half. Alex Ockman getting her typical 50 second breather. That's usually what they do. I've seen this pattern. Nice inbound pass to DeSalva, oh but she is fouled. Fans not happy with that foul call whatsoever. That was coming from uh, the home side, so I'm not, not sure what's going on up there. <laughs> they happen to think that that was a good block. But two free throws coming for DeSalvo. Yeah. DeSalvo, from what I've seen, has been pretty effective from the free throw line. Yep, she sinks her first one. Nice. Good form. Seems to be effective there. Almost as good as me. Ten times better, Zan. I'm being generous. DeSalvo for a second free throw. And what did I tell you? I said she's pretty effective from that three throw line. Fast. Playing the point there. Can it over to Gibson? Post feed is stolen away by Kayla Clark. A lot of physicality going down, but Pompilia comes away with it and kicks it over to Chambers. Ashley quick, quickly pushes up the floor. That pass is almost stolen, but Jenna's able to keep it alive. That'll be a trap. She travels. It looks like she kept a pivot foot there, but uh, be going the other way. Hey, 
Gibson now will uh, take it up the floor for the Leopards. Fast with it. Nice pass down low. Cole is able to get it, but she can't connect. Nice rebound for Kayla Clark, and she travels as uh, two Tigers ran into each other there, creating the travel. Huh. Four seconds left here in the third quarter. Call. Leopards now get the last shot. Oh no, stolen away. Uh, never mind. Almost stolen away. Maybe a half court shot. No, Gibson will not get her shot off. And uh, going into the fourth quarter, the Hound Tigers lead 31 to 29. We'll be back to you soon after a quick commercial break. We want our schools to be the place where our kids receive a great public education. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster their future through innovative practices with an open and sustained vision. Howland's strong sense of pride in the community and our commitment to academia and the arts is unparalleled. Our classrooms are built on pride and tradition. Nothing beats public education and there's no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. And we are back with the, the Hound Tigers leading the uh, Louisville Leopards 31 to 29. This is, of course, Zane Zook with my partner, Drew Tierney. We've got ourselves an exciting fourth quarter ahead of us. It has been back and forth. The Tigers look to pull away a little bit in the third quarter, but those last two, three minutes, Louisville. <laughs> Got the, some composure back in, uh, made it a two-point game. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy that uh, the scoring picked up a little bit. Oh, definitely. Because I, I can think. honestly say that the first quarter, it was pretty slow game. It was, it was tedious. That's, that's the word I'd go with. Tigers doubled their uh, first half score there in the third quarter, though. Yeah, they did. More than doubled, actually. I, I don't, I don't seem to remember the first half score, but 16 I'll take 15. your word for it. 16-15 Leopards. Okay. Yeah, they did. Nice steal from Del Muti. And Chambers now will push up the floor. She's getting harassed out front. Dahman driving to the paint. She shoots the flare, but she is fouled from behind. She'll be getting two free throws here. Looks to be limping a little, too. A little bit. She'll be fine. She's tough. She'll be fine. Dahman hits her first free throw. Wait, but Kayla Dahman's actually a lefty. She I don't is. know why I noticed that, but I, I did. It's interesting to me. Maybe All right, Zay. Just kind of noticed that first game of the year. Oh. Dahman now, second free throw. Connects, and the Tigers lead is back to two possessions. Gallon time pushing up the floor. Leopard's looking to post up, but uh, nothing coming from it. Tigers don't play a very aggressive defense. They really uh, let teams pass it around up front. Gibson now with it. She takes the mid-range shot and almost gets the bank to fall. Almost only counts horseshoes and hand grenades. I guess the bank must have closed at this point. Yeah, yeah, it must have. Dahman slashing to the paint. She's no. off the mark. Oh, but oh. Kayla Clark can't get wow. the rebound. That's rebound a bunny. and put back to go. That's a bunny. That one's got to land. Definitely. Gibson now taking it up the floor. Uh, the Hound Tiger coaching staff is not happy after that one. Especially uh, Kayla's mother there on the sideline. Yeah, she appears to be quite upset. Yeah. That's what nice I little post move. And Paige Cole will be going to the line for two free throws. down to our final six minutes and 44 seconds here. It's fourth quarter of play. Two free throws coming here for Cole. Teams have been shooting it pretty well from the line tonight. Yeah, they have. She hits their first one. I, I doubt she makes a second one, Drew. I just have a feeling. Wow, you, your intuition has been horrible tonight as she sinks both free throws. I told you, at some point this year I have to be wrong. So apparently I'm getting 
getting all of my 2018 wrongs in here tonight. <laughs> oh man, Zane. Turnover for the Tigers. Leopards get the ball back. That's Lawson has Heiser with the ball. Thinks about the three. Oh, jab steps. But stolen away by Del Muti. She's going to the paint. She goes will up. Will that hot hand continue? Yeah, and it will. she yeah, connects. It will. They're really relying on Del Muti right now, as she is the leading scorer here for the Tigers. All of her points coming in the second half. She has had a great game, one of her best games of her career. Nice backdoor cut as Cole is able to get the lamp to go. Del Muti now pushing it up the floor. Maybe she can get another shot up. She drives to the paint again. Fouled, and she'll be going to the line for two shots. Erin Hahn did not look happy about that. Uh, she apparently disagreed. That's her fourth foul of the night, so that was a big one there. She, she's probably have, gonna have to come sit down for a second. No. Can't get a fifth, fifth foul here. Well, she could. That'd be her last one. Chambers with two free throws here. That would be Marie Del Muti, not Ashley Chambers. That would be 100% correct. Uh, she missed the first one there. I know it's correct. That's why I said it. Second free throw coming here for Del Muti. Second free throw is up. Bam, it's off the mark. Had the hot hand, but couldn't get those free throws to go there. Galantine quickly pushing up the floor. Three is up and off the mark, but rebounded by the Leopards. And oh, wow. quickly turned over though. Tigers will get possession back. Del Muti to inbound. See if they throw another touchdown pass here. No uh, safety net for the Leopards. Oh, nice wow. steal from Cole. She takes up floor, but she is fouled by Ashley Chambers. I really wish we had a turnover total here for the Tigers. It's got to be pushing 20 at this point. At least. Timeout Leopards here. Looks like we got just, we got a 30 second timeout. Once again, the upcoming games for the Tigers, uh, Saturday, December 22nd, the Hound Tigers play Geneva at 2.30. Friday, December 28th, they play West Branch at 1 o'clock. Saturday, December 29th, they play, also play at West Branch. And uh, Wednesday, G January 9th, they play at Austin Town Fitch. So those are, the, those are the upcoming games for the Hound Lady Tigers. Timeout's over and we're back into action here. Two point game and the Leopards have the ball. Chance to take the lead. Galantine, not a great place to inbound it. Should get back across half court when you uh, get that impasse. Nice backdoor cut for the Leopards and they lay it in. This thing's all knotted up at 35. Very close game. Kayla and we're actually seeing it. Kylie McLean uh, return to this game. It's Alyssa Pompelio. Check it in. No, no, Kylie McLean is on oh, the court now, the currently. Court. We, uh, we missed that during the timeout. Tigers answer though and uh, get their two point lead right back. Yes, they do. It's like we got ourselves another moving screen and the Tigers will get the ball right back. I thought it was on uh, number 25, Hannah Lawson Tizer. Again, apologize. Yeah, that can't be right. That cannot be right. Hawkman almost throws another turnover, but Del Muti's able to get it. Clark with it. Over Pompeo. Pompeo. Probably going to put the shot up. No, never mind. Knocks off and driving towards the paint. the paint. She's usually. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I'm trying to get the rebound. Nice crossover there. Best pass to down low, but it is tipped away by Kayla Clark. Sorry, Sydney Bast. Trying to throw it down low.
Oh, Kayla Clark doesn't know where the ball's at, and hey, we'll slip it right in there. That's two free throws now for Shayla really? Moore. I, I don't agree with that foul, Drew. She wasn't even looking at her. Slammed into her, though. Nah, she can help that. She still did it. <laughs> sure. Yeah, ran into her. We'll go with that. Two free throws now. She's not making the second one. I have a feeling. I don't believe Cher, uh, Sherilyn Molds missed a free throw tonight. And it's not making the second one. Oh, wow, Zane. Congrats. You predicted someone missing their first free throw. I think oh, a bit of a travel there by Pompelia, but no call. Klein gets it. And over to Del Muti. Pompelia with it. Trying to do something with offense. Bachman posting up. She gets it up and under, Ooh. but she is fouled and should be going to the stripe for two. She's gonna make both here. I swear you're just trying to jinx every player out there tonight, Zane. No, I just have a feeling. <laughs> I figure I have to let the fans know about that feeling. Ackman sinks her first free throw. There it is. Checking into the game is uh, Watson's Heiser for the Leopards. Once again, not sure if that's how you say it. Ackman, second free throw. Ah. Off the mark. And Zane is wrong, but Kayla Clark with the rebound. Can't get to go. Alex gets her own rebound now, and there it is. that's a four-point lead for the Tigers. I was halfway right. No. <laughs> Leopards now with the ball. Wow, nice I thought she front. was going to take that shot. She seems wide open. Almost throws it away, but tipped away by the Tigers. Alex Hockman must have got a fingertip on it. <laughs> or, staying corrected, that was a foul on Alyssa Pompelia? Where was the foul? Uh, Drew, if I knew, I would tell you. I, I, I really have no idea. Must have been a bit of a hand check or something. I'm not sure though. First free throw is good for Paige Cole. Cole with her second free throw coming. And nothing but net. Both will land. Again, more pressure for the Leopards. That will bring the score to 40 to 38 in favor of the McLean carries and uh, turns it over for the Tigers. That's not good. Another turnover. They've seen just happen all night long. Leopards now take it up the floor. Galantine driving and finds uh, Cole in the post. But did that hit the backboard? No, I don't believe so. Alex Ackman. Oh my goodness. Throws up the crazy uh, reverse layup. Nothing goes. But Kayla Clark being physical down low, grabbing extremely, that rebound. Extremely physical. Looks a little angry. Fans getting into this one now is just, just, over, uh, just under three and a half minutes. Uh, oh, that's not good. Not a good pass from Dummy as Clark was open. 40 to 38 here. These turnovers are it. still killing these Tigers. The three is up and off the mark. Nice rebound for Alex Ackman. Chambers quickly pushing it up the floor. Delmuti kicks it over to Chambers. Got to move the ball. Timeout Tigers, though. Smart timeout for Deal as Chambers almost had the five-second violation. Almost. Just 30-second timeout here. Tigers leading the Leopards 40 to 38. We've had a very back and forth fourth quarter here. Definitely. Every time the Tigers score, it seems like the uh, Leopards have been able to answer back with a basket of their own. That was wild. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> Great analysis there. Thank you. Tigers uh, end their timeout quickly. Deal didn't seem like he had much uh, to talk about. Tigers line up in a stack formation on their uh, out-of-bounds play here. 
Tigers going with their starting five out, here, out there on the court right now, except for uh, Michaela Dahman. In place of her is Kylie McLean. Bachman driving to the paint, crossing over. The layup is up. Be, uh, and two shots? she'll be going to the line for two, yeah. Very aggressive take there. Yeah, I'm just not going to say anything for this one. Thanks, Ann. Bachman been pretty solid from the line tonight. Two more free throws, though. You know, no, she's going to make both. I couldn't help myself. And she hits the first one. Three point game here now. Tigers would really like to make this two possessions. First one, second one is up and is good. What I tell you, Drew. Zane, you make it tough on me, man. Nice backdoor cut. Well, Gibson's able to save it, but it is a turnover, anyways, as Alex Ackman comes away with it. Oh boy, almost, almost stolen, but it oh, is stolen, it is stolen by stolen. Hahn. Goodness, oh, oh my gosh. And Alex Ackman slams into Aaron Hahn. Good sportsmanship though, she was able to pick her up right after. Two free throws for Aaron Hahn. I'm not gonna say anything for this one. I'm really not going to this time. Really? That's, yeah. That must be tough for you, man. First free throw is up and good. Back down to a one possession game. Oh, and pretty quiet in the second half. Big free throw here. And it's good. In my head, I had told myself she was gonna make both. Oh, I, I just know insane. the game. I just know the game. Your analysis is just insane every time you speak. Something, oh something never heard. Big foul there as uh, Kylie McLean steps to the line for two free throws. First free throw coming from McLean. Tiger with this up. And it is good. Tigers are in the double bonus and will be shooting two free throws the rest of the night. Second free throw is up, and it's the bottom. Clayton having herself a nice little game, six points. Fake handoff from Gibson. She's, oh, I'm not sure if that was a pass or a three, but it gets down low. Now Cole with it on top. And that wow. will not land, but there will be a foul. Molt will be taking two free throws here. Number 10, Sherilyn Mullet. It's been pretty solid from the line tonight. See if she can get two more here. Ooh, the first one takes a quick little run around the rim, but it falls. Let's see what she does here on the second one. Second is up, not good. Nice rebound from Delmuti though. Oh, she's hitting the back court. No call, though. Chamber is posting up out front. But she travels. Wow. Looks like she was still dribbling there. Tough call. Leopards take over, though. Just, just over two minutes to play. Three-point game. Tigers applying some pressure now. Gibson with it out front. Gets it over to Hahn. Illegal screen. And the Tigers will get the ball right back after the, after the tough call. What a shocker. Uh, another change of possession. There's been a few here tonight. The Leopards are slowly getting into foul trouble here. Slowly. No one open until Clark is able to find a lane. Del Muni now driving to the paint. Hit in the head. Wow. Traveling call, okay. though. Deal is not one. happy. I mean, he's on his knees. I, I don't even know what he's doing over there, but he's not happy. Tough break for the Tigers. Drew, have you noticed that Coach Deal never actually sits on the bleachers? No, he always uh, keeps the knee right on the sideline. Very weird. Apparently there's another, okay. 
Is that another illegal screen? That's wow. That's interesting. Back to back possessions. Sherilyn Mullet comes away with illegal screens, and now she has up to four fouls. That's two players now for the Leopards with four. You're a Leopard fan just yelling at the ref to, and I quote, quit it, as they are not happy at all with the, uh, the calls. Ackman getting hit up front. No calls, though. A lot of hand checking, still no calls. Oh boy, don't turn that Chambers ball over. Chambers getting to the paint and airballs it, and ah. McLean can't save it. And the Leopards will get possession. Gallon time, as always, bringing up the floor. Not a lot of motion here from the Leopards. See if they can uh, do some offense. Gibson with it, down low to Hahn, but she is fouled by Kayla Clark. Two big free throws coming for Aaron Hahn here. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna need to make both of these, as it is still a three-point game here with just under a minute left. In the can't, can't tie the game up here, but can with a chance to cut it to one. Hahn sinks the first one. The Tigers' lead is cut to two. Timeout called by Coach Deal. All right, with a score of 44 to 42 in favor of the Tigers, we will be right back after a quick commercial break. We want our schools to be the place where our kids receive a great public education. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster their future through innovative practices with an open and sustained vision. Howland's strong sense of pride in the community and our commitment to academia and the arts is unparalleled. Our classrooms are built on pride and tradition. Nothing beats public education, and there's no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. And we are back here tonight with a score of 44 to 42 in favor of the Howland Tigers. Like we told you at the beginning of the game, this one would be close, and uh, it definitely has been. This has been all back and forth here tonight. This has been the toughest stretch uh, for Louisville their, for their entire season, and this is the this is the cap of it. This is the last of uh, their away stretch. Six games in nine days. Can they pull out a comeback here? Second free throw for Han falls, and this lead is trickling all the way down to one for the Tigers. Clark with it. These Tigers cannot, oh boy. Quick foul from Kayla Gibson. I'm not sure if he needed a foul right away. Could have gone for a steal first. Well, here's the thing. Maria Del Muni is 0 for 2 for three throws on the night, so maybe this was part of their strategy? Yeah, I guess you wouldn't want uh, Alex Ackman going to the oh, line to shoot the free throws. Absolutely not. Two big free throws here for Del Muni. First is up, and good. Back to a two-point game. Timeout Leopards. Some words of wisdom coming from the stands there. Yes. The fan is telling the Leopards, get Mike the ball. Duroco, Duraco, sorry. Uh, call the timeout. Another full timeout. And once again, with a score of 45 to 43 in favor of the Tigers, we will be back after a quick commercial break. These hallways are built on pride and tradition. As a public school district, we will always promote, protect, and fight for what's best because that's what Roaring Tigers do for our kids and community. We embrace the pride of our past and continue to strategically create and foster the future for our kids and families through innovative practices. We have an open and sustained vision that focuses on innovation as the benchmark for our students. Nothing beats public education and there is no better place to be educated than Howland Local Schools. You're watching Maximum Media Sports. And we are back to you. The score 45 to 43 in favor of the Tigers. There's about 55 seconds left in this fourth quarter of play. And Maria Del Muti will be going for her second free throw shot. Let's see if the uh, Leopards plan to foul backfires on them. And it does. Really good. It does backfire. Those are some big free throws for Del Muti. Del Muti with 15 points on the night. 
I'm not positive, but I believe that could be a season high. For oh, that. that is a tough turnover. Aaron Hand cannot corral that pass. 48 seconds left. Leopards need a big steal here, but Alex Hawking is able to get it. Will they foul her, though? Looks like they... No, they're going for the trap at half court. And they oh, get the turnover. No. Gibson with it. And she misses the lift. But the rebound is good. Timeout. Leopards, 46-45. That is the last thing that the Tigers needed there. Sherilyn Mullet follows the, the missed lamp and connects. What a game we've got here, man. With we'll a score of 46 to uh, 45, we'll be back to you after a quick commercial break. Actually, no, my apologies. We're just gonna, we're gonna tough this one out. I mean. Let's see what deal uh, comes up with here. Just over 30 seconds left. I mean, you gotta think, hold on to it as long as you can, put up a shot. And, uh, gotta get it to Alex Ackman. Oh. So if you want someone to go into the line to shoot or, it's Ackman. Alex Ackman or Maria Del Muti at this point. Like, I mean, she is leading, it's leading the Tigers with 15 points on the night. Any foul from either team at this point will, be, will result in two free throws as both teams are in the double bonus. So it could be a very interesting close in this game. Both teams back on the floor. Be interesting to see what the Tigers do, how they get it in. Will they go for the long pass again? As, like all night, as you can see, the Leopards have no one back deep. If they send someone long, they might be able to get it. No, Alex Ockham gets it in right in the corner. And she's quickly fouled. Why Probably would Aaron, the Tigers' best. Not a smart decision from Aaron Hahn. That's her fifth foul. Man, they had to have someone else foul there. I, wow, not a great move there. Such a dumb foul. Now it's Ockman with two free, free throws coming. Ockman with her first free throw. This is good. Will going. Tigers really looking forward to extend this lead to three. Because that would basically force these uh, Leopards to take a three-point shot. Second one is good. Ackman has been great from the line tonight. Big free throws there. Galantine pushing up the floor to Gibson. Backdoor cut. Blocked, Blocked by Kayla by Clark. Kayla Clark. These Tigers are just going to try to hold on to it here. Uh, Quick foul and Del Muni will be going to the line for two. You got to think if she at least makes one of these, this game could be out of reach for the Leopards as it would go to two possessions. But yet again, great defense from Kayla Clark. As always. Huge block. She's always a monster in that paint. Big free throw here now for Del Muti. And it's good. Four First point game. Two possessions now. Louisville will need a quick shot. Second, will land. second one. It is a five point game. Full timeout for John Deal. He'll be saying up his defense. You can't foul here, no matter what. This is running through no fouls, especially no. if they're going to be launching a three here. I mean, you have to launch a three here with only 19 seconds left. Do not, under any circumstance, foul. Can't give up a four point play here. That'd be detrimental to the Definitely Tiger not. Line. Definitely not. Uh, I mean, I. You've they, got this th game right, right there. Just got to close it out now. These Leopards would need to make a three point shot and still regain possession. Uh, this game potentially is out of hands here for the Leopards, as they would need a lot to go in their favor for them to just have a chance. It all starts in this possession, though. Got to get a quick bucket. Not only do they probably need a three, it's got to be fast, real fast. Time is their worst enemy right now. They probably need me out there right now. That would not help them much at all right now. All right. Quick inbound to Valentine. She's wasting a lot of clock here. Three point needs to go for oh Cole. Oh my goodness. And it, it that's doesn't connect. That's and it not looks the shot like that they would be the game. Well, they foul her. Foul. No, and there's not do. much point. All right, well. Could have let the clock run out there. They could have, as it is out of reach. And this is just a waste of time. Don Muni, two free throws here to pad the stats now. Yeah. I mean, 
She has I had am. a tremendous night. Yeah. 17 points. Going to come up just short of 20 if she makes these. I don't know for a fact, but I, I believe this this could be her. Uh, the Seth. most points she's scored on, on the varsity level. Yeah. The Tigers mm -hmm. really needed their guards to be much more aggressive today, and yeah. they answered. Yeah. They found another scoring option other than Alex Ackman tonight, and I love to tell when. That will oh. not land. Half court shot almost falls, but doesn't matter anyways as your Holland Tigers go to six and two with the big win tonight over the Louisville Leopards. With a final score score of 50 to 45. Great win from the Tigers here tonight. And uh, as you said, Louisville, his record will go to four and six as their brutal stretch in their schedule will continue. Tigers don't have another home game now until Boardman on January 12th, so you won't be hearing from us for a while. So, but you can tune in this Friday to, uh, for the boys' game. Uh, they've got they will be playing East. Okay. Big game there, very winnable. Nice win last night against JFK, but uh, again, congrats to the girls as they had a nice win over the Leopards tonight. All right, and uh, this will be all from Zane Zook and Drew Tiering here tonight. This is Max Media Sports, and uh, please tune in next time. Thank you.